Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. Jennifer Lopez files for divorce from Ben Affleck after two years of marriage. Doja Cat spotted holding hands with Stranger Things star John Quinn again during London outing. Ashanti and Nelly welcome their first baby together after reconciliation. Millie Bobby Brown launches new eyewear collection. And Beyonce mixes over $5,000 worth of Pucci prints in Brooklyn with Jay-Z. And on our trending segment, Jennifer Lopez filed for divorce from Ben Affleck on Tuesday after two years of marriage. According to TMZ, Lopez filed pro per, meaning by herself and without an attorney. The single listed the date of separation as April 26, 2024. Lopez did not say in her filing whether she and the actor have a prenuptial agreement in place, with sources telling the outlet that they do not have one. Lopez went on to waive spousal support and asked the judge to deny Affleck such support as well. The date that the divorce was filed conceded with the anniversary of their Georgia set wedding ceremony in 2022. After they first eloped in Las Vegas, their split has now confirmed the divorce rumors that loomed after it became a public knowledge that the two had been living separately and that Lopez canceled her tour and that they had put their home up for sale. Girl. I was really rooting for Ben Affleck wow. and Jennifer Lopez. Me too. You know when the rumors kept coming out, I was like, no, yeah. please, not again. Yeah. I think this whole marriage thing does not just work for some sense. It doesn't people. work for, 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 art, for celebrities. Right? Because I saw a video and mm -hmm. you know people, so, so social media likes to always act like they know. Mm -hmm. There's a video that's, that's up now showing where mm -hmm. they were arguing at some kind of award ceremony and then yeah. the comments was like, this is when I knew they were going I to- I beg you! <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, like, yes, I saw it too, I was like, I beg. You know, they've had arguments once in a while because, you know, people noted that Ben Affleck, anytime yeah. he steps out, is always like looking very, very angry, so. always frowning and all of that. But really, I was really rooting for this yeah. one. And then the way that this separation and divorce is going is really different. Yeah. Are you seeing the fact that she didn't do that with a lawyer? No, she did not. And then she filed that this separation happened as far back as April. Yes. And it is now that, you know, she's actually filing for a divorce. And I'm wondering, Jennifer, what is it? Like, what is going on? How many marriages have she had so far? Do I think know? three. This is her fourth one. Dang. This is her fourth one. I, I don't know. Girl. I really don't know what the problem is. But I just feel like this marriage thing doesn't just work for She just anybody. stay I single. Think she just, yeah. you know, a lot of people are saying she should have just dated Ben Affleck yeah. and like that. Yeah. Damn, you know, marrying. You must not marry. Just date a big. And on our spotted segment, Doja Cat was spotted holding hands with Stranger Things star Joseph Quinn. Two years after she asked his co-star Noah Schnapp to set them up, the singer and queen were hand in hand as they took a stroll in London. The actor spotted a blue long sleeve dress shirt that was tucked into grey pinstripe pants, a brown belt and black leather boots. Dodger, on the other hand, wore a sheer crop top over a nude bra, a black leather pleated skirt and thigh high leather boots. A video of the pair on a romantic stroll together made rounds online. In the clip, Doja held Quinn's hand behind his back as he caressed her butt with his other hand. Doja and Quinn's romance became public knowledge over the weekend when they were seen packing on the PDA during another outing in London. Mm, Doja Cat. PDA. So PDA going on. You know Doja She's, has been, always been crazy. Yeah. She's a crazy chick. But then that combo is one that I did not see coming. Me neither. Mm. Mm. I didn't see coming at all. And then she's the one that even asks someone to hook them yeah. up. Have you ever done something like that? Never. Like, you know, look at a guy and be like, mm, I want you to hook me up with no, your friend. Never. Never done that before. I think Hollywood people just yeah. have a thing. They don't care. Like, all this small small circle. Us in this Africa, we're always very modest. Yeah. We're always so traditional. We just want to do the same things yeah. the same way we've been doing yeah. all these years. But that's that's really fun. And Doja Cat looks like she's mm -hmm. becoming more, I don't know, outspoken, more bold, more, I don't know, something about her has changed no, from when she first came out. very bold, actually. Really? Very bold. Know. Oh, she has always been very bold with her art, with her makeup. With the... She even went out recently. I, I saw that towel, watch. right? I saw that. <laughs> Doja will not kill me. Doja like, is why crazy. She a towel? She's crazy. Shopping. So, me hearing that Doja is having PDA, I'm, I'm not surprised, to be honest. She's, Doja she's crazy. Cat. She's crazy. <laughs> And on to our editorial segment, Ashanti and Nelly's latest collaboration has arrived and it is the cutest yet. The longtime couple recently welcomed their first baby together and according to sources, the proud and happy parents are so in love with their son, Karim Kenkaide Hayes, telling news outlets that Nelly picked a name with a lot of pride. 
Ashanti shared a postpartum mirror selfie with her Instagram followers on Friday. She added the caption, I have been waiting to be a mom for a long time now, but nothing could prepare me for everything motherhood brings. This is what postpartum looks like. I love that. Finally. Can you imagine that they broke up and they got back together for her to get pregnant? Is this a sign for us to go back to our ex? I don't know if I go back to my ex. <laughs> never. Is this a sign? You know my ex? Never. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Please don't go back to that I'm one. I'm so happy I, I for her. Yeah, yeah. You know. And then it's, it's so funny how she's so hot and then yeah. postpartum is really a thing. Like, yeah. you see the bodies of women really changes and that's why you need to be with a man that really loves you. Yeah, really. So. Because your body would definitely change but she still looks really beautiful i'm actually. sure she's i'm sure she's gonna do surgery after mm. oh, oh definitely yeah, she's gonna do surgery after. People definitely mommy make over oh, they really <laughs> need to do that but then i'm really happy that they have a son and it's funny did he announce that i just saw no, it like, yeah, yeah, yeah i think this has happened like four weeks yeah, after yeah, the yeah, birth or something yeah, like yeah. that that's quite interesting i'm so happy for her yeah. go ashanti yeah congratulations ashanti and nelly Alright guys, on to our new collection. Yesterday, Stranger Things actress Millie Bobby Brown announced her latest fashion venture, delving into the eyewear business. Millie shared an Instagram post with her followers, announcing the launch of her Claire Less spectacles and sunglasses as part of her Florence by Mills fashion range. It's here, Millie said. I'm beyond excited to finally share my new Florence by Mills eyewear collection with you all. The range features a variety of shapes and silhouettes, including a pair of thick framed black cat eye sunglasses that would slot seamlessly into the accessories arsenals of every cool girl across the globe. Hey, I love that cool girl. for her. And Millie, you know, Millie made money, a lot of mm, money at a very young, young age. age. Yeah. Her movie Stranger Things really, really top the charts yeah. and broke a lot of records yeah sure did so seeing her now have her own thing i really love it for her she's really beautiful really yeah, quiet as yeah. well i wonder really what the price key. range is gonna be for that. yeah i don't even right. know as well and we, then also the age range i, I yeah. really don't know and on to our spicy or not segment beyonce stepped out with husband jay-z for a date night in brooklyn choosing an especially glamorous outfit for the occasion while Jay-Z kept things casual in a blue paper plain tracksuit, the singer mixed five playfully printed pieces by Pucci for the pair's dinner at Lucali. She wore a Pucci blazer trimmed with one of the brand's signature prints at the pockets, along with matching wide leg pants. She tied the label's coordinated signet scarf in her hair and clutched a striped yummy bag affixed with a yummy pouch in the same green and brown color palette. Oval sunglasses, pointy toed heels, and gold sacred nameplate necklace completed the look. I love Beyonce and I mm. love that she's this whole you know she used to have um, a fashion brand called House of Darion back in the days mm -hmm. and nobody really 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 kind of like it was like mm -hmm. the hood brand mm -hmm. nobody really really gave her a lot of attention about mm -hmm. it but it's so crazy how now like I guess she she can do no wrong yeah right? I mean the, she also had the Ivy Park as yeah well. Ivy Park yeah. yeah Ivy Park that one did good one. too yeah that yeah. one did good it yeah. did good but yeah. I, you know people said it didn't really sell that much mm. so I don't know I think the separate brand is really really working for her yeah. because people are really cute into it I've seen a lot of influencers mm. try it out I've seen a lot of people try out her hair products mm -hmm. and they're really speaking good about it mm. I love Stylish Bay and yes. I love the fact that she uses every opportunity to sell every product that yes, she has in the yes, market yes, see yes. her stepping out it's just wearing yes. you know, a plated sacred necklace, sacred necklace out there yeah I love and you know it. what i, I saw a video mm -hmm. i saw a video of her using her one of her hair wash mm -hmm. and then she showed a natural video of her wearing hair long can you mm -hmm. imagine her hair was so long yeah and she's so saying long. that it was sacred that actually gave her that length yeah you know and people really you know gave her a little bit of backlash saying they oh it's a lie you know <laughs> that's not beyonce's hair show us when you kept it this way yes, oh do it yes, this way yes, like, yes, are you yes. telling me oh that's sacred i kept it I mean, people will always talk about, I mean, sell your brand, Bay. We love you. We We're going to buy. You. I mean, I'm a Bay fan. Stan, staunch Bay fan. So whatever product what she gets out there. What do they call bees, right? Yeah. Oh, beehive. Sure, sure, beehive. Yeah, the beehive. Okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> Proudly a beehive. I love you, Bay. Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. And until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye. Bye-bye.